that you would know. And uh, in July, I was driving on I-81 South and heard there was a, a shooting in a theater in Lafayette, and there were a couple of fatalities, and one of them was Dwayne Johnson. And, uh, and I, and the other fatality was a woman named uh, Macy Bro, who was at school at LSUV. So I, when I did my show there, I wrote, uh, I shared a couple poems. So as Jen plays accordion and Leanne plays, uh, plays the rub board, which is the music of Louisiana, they're going to be ending the show with their five-piece band, Mo Mojo. But uh, why don't you start playing? And I got a poem that, uh, in memory of Jillian Johnson Woo! and the former LSUE student, Mason Bro. The last time I saw you, really saw you, you laid me a full bowl of gumbo, poured me a beer and smiled. The scene so like you, your store rearranged. On stage two, favorite musicians. A party for a few hundred friends, plus odd folks you didn't know. Several blocks down the street, Zodico bands and a thousand festival goers. You always liked making big things better. That was you, big smile, beautiful, tall, and such big ideas. And then you did the work. Oh, death. Our strange world is getting stranger. At another festival, this one last fall, I saw you waltz by. You played and you worked. I shared that poem at LSUE, and I wrote a poem specific for the show called Absolutely Eunice. For everybody who spent time or another three or four weeks, we got Mardi Gras down there, and I'll be down there myself. That's my second home is in Louisiana. Absolutely Eunice, this poem is called. Every place is an absolutely special place. Up here in between Crowley and Mamu, nowhere is quite so town, country, Cajun. I can hear French and see the honest truths. I can go dance to the absolute fine old music. Earth, yes, has absolutely blessed this place. And I'm going to read one more poem I didn't read last night with this. I get in trouble if I ever get political, and I'm not going to be political except a little bit because we have an election year coming up, so there's presenters who are saying, we don't have to get political, but we can do a little something in October or September coming up or summer. I have this poem called Suffering Democracy, and since Jillian is a victim of one of those gun shootings that we have had in this country, I have this poem called Suffering Democracy. Instead of a gun, or knife, or pill, or drink, or punching the wall, the dog screaming at kids, or holding too many pains too deep, brutal parents, cruel lovers, bad bosses, deaths, illnesses, Dying friends, extinct creatures, absent God, near ruined planet. First, grip a pen and write. Then pick a place and plant. Then be patient and let grow. Then enter a small booth, pull around the blue curtain, kiss that ballot, and vote. Ken Maurer, Leanne Wise, they're going to be around later. One more fact, Jen is not only going to be around later, she's going to be around now. She, you'll hear her tonight playing accordion. She plays bass, she plays guitar, she writes great songs, and she dances too. So, oh man, she's just a great songwriter. So, uh, we got Elizabeth, we got Jen, we may have Lindsay coming up here, and Down House. Jack Bonella. Oh, God, yes. You, are you, are you going to lay down and beat you dancers? Okay. This is for everybody who has ever spent time in Juneau, Alaska. 
and Martha's here, and I know Martha from Juno way back, and, but now she has Quicksilver Productions, so you know Quicksilver, they are our friends. And one of my friends is a fellow named Jack Fontanella, who is a banjo player, guitar player, stand-up bass player, dance caller, teaches first and second graders, a happy guy. Richie knows him, Martha knows him, I sure know him. And I remember seeing him in the Juno post office not looking happy. I said, Jack, how you doing? He said, not good. I said, not good? He said, yeah, house burned down. As a musician, that is a terrible thing. And Juno is like other places, so Jack and Jenna, his partner, now his wife, I mean, they were girlfriend, but now they're married. Uh, people in Juno found them a place within a week. People raised money, Jack had another guitar. What I did three weeks later, I was leading a writing workshop. And I wrote something that I was thinking about, which is what those instruments sounded like right before they burnt up. This is Burnt Down House for Jack Fontanella. The night of the cabin fire. In the midst of cupboards and kitchenware, closets and clothes, when the flames came picking. I can think how the two guitars, mandolin, banjo, bass, and fiddle might jumped out of their skins a moment to make the craziest, most raucous, caterwauling noise. Enough riotous jabber walk fuel a dozen generations old time string bands. We're slipping back into maple. We can smoke hot and right. The instruments last bright. Denali. Festival. Sound. I wrote that, I gave it to Jack, I heard he had it on his refrigerator door, and as he was getting on with his life, I said, Jack, I make up fiddle tunes. Would you like a fiddle tune burnt down house? And he should have said, Midland poet, don't press your luck. Yeah. But he said, okay. And I gave him the big question with old time music, key of A or key of D. And he said, key of D. And so, like, this class party set, one of my talents is I've gotten old and I know like the, the most talented people in the world is what it feels like. So, uh, so I'm going to play Burnt Down House to the percussive dance. And Aaron Lewis, who was never, I guess he heard this tune last night. He's, I trust that he will do something with Twin Fiddle with me. And then after this ends, E.B. Layton and Keith Terry are going to come up and we are going to vacate the same. Are you up here now? Yep. I don't know. She could be. Right behind you. Oh, God. I didn't even know. This was different than last night. E.B. wasn't up. Okay, so Burnt Down House.
Save room for a bigger tree. Yeah. Thanks, Ken. There we go. Pizza, are you up here?